find it inside the courthouse. Oh, really? The FBI? Yeah, man. I will, I will receive the issue by FBI, and I will jump in with you. By the FBI or the VI? FBI. We are checking the issue from FBI headquarters. Oh. Let me tell you that this investigation started when I found an ambush car on the south border of Texas. And the car contained some blood and drugs we put inside it. Here after the investigation we found the car rented in your name and your social information. There are two address linked with the dealer vehicle. And the address where the city of the wallet was rented by U.S. Marshal. But unfortunately, there was no one beside us, but we had to recover 32 pounds of cocaine, each and ambush drugs, and some documented like financing institutions such as the Case Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. And we have found like 20 pounds and a lot of credit card with the link in your social. That's why my department was calling you to inform what's going on right now in your social. Okay. So do you do you have my social security number? Ma'am, I have all your details in here on my screen, okay? Okay. Okay. Have Evan, let me tell you, man. Hello, ma'am. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm just having a hard time understanding your accent. Sorry. Let me tell you, ma'am, we are just doing this because we have the social right now because come from my within wrong hand and we have a real culprit, but are using the same social. Yeah, I'm using the same social. It's it's the same social security yeah, number I got whenever I was born. Yeah. And we, we are not able to identify the real coffee. Okay. Okay, so what do you need me to do? Yeah, I can tell you, ma'am. I will transfer my call, my senior officer, that's called a DEA, Drug Transport Man Administration, who is the authorized person in regard to the case. Okay, so now we're going to the Drug Administration? Yeah, I will transfer my call, my senior officer. Please hold the line. Do not disconnect that line. That line was a recording line. Okay. Hold on. You're speaking with Sally. All right. I believe the officer whom you talked earlier must have told you regarding the case file that is registered under your name, right? Uh, I couldn't understand him very well, honestly. Okay. Let me tell you, there is a case registered under your name for drugs trafficking and for money laundering. This investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the stock. Ma'am, are you in streaker form? Am I in streaker form? Uh huh, streaker. Uh, no. Can you please turn in? Turn. Are you sure? Yes. This investigation started when we found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas. The car contained some blood and drugs residue inside it. And hence, after the investigation, we found that the car was rented under your name. And also, we found documentation from a financial institute such as 
Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. The entire paperwork has your name on it, and thousands of dollars has been wired from the account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we, as the Social Security Administration of the state Texas, has filed a case against you for drug trafficking or money laundering. Okay, and what name do you have this under? My maiden name or my married name? Your married name. Which is, what name is that? So, ma'am, what do you want me to do with the file that is mean? What do you want to do with the case file that is registered under your name? Oh, uh, you guys called me, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, we are calling, I mean, the officer, and called you to inform you regarding the case file that is registered under your name, right? So the choice is yours if you want to go ahead and consult with the U.S. Treasury to find the real culprit who is using your information, or if you want to go ahead and take this issue to the courthouse. Okay, so what do you think I should do? If you... Okay, if you want to, I mean, if you want to take this issue to the courthouse, you have to hire a criminal lawyer. And the FBI has the strong evidence that are enough to prove you guilty inside the courthouse. The best thing for you to do is to cooperate with, with the U.S. Treasury so that we can help you resolve the case. Because uh, we believe that you are just a victim, so the case will be registered under the tab of identity. Right? Okay. I wanted to ask some few questions. Right now, there are around 20 banking accounts and 11 credit cards active under your name. So can you verify me how many banking accounts belong to you? I have 17. You have 17 bank accounts? Yes. How many credit cards? Uh, three. Are you sure you have... Sorry, I got that mixed up. I have seven bank accounts. Seven, seven bank accounts? Yes. Can you please name the bank? Name the bank? Yes, name of the bank. Public Property Bank? Wells Fargo? Chase Bank, Southern National Bank, Shirley, what did you do that you have, you have 17 bank accounts? Seven bank accounts. What? Seven. S-E-V-E-N. Okay, uh, uh, I'm sorry. What, what, what business did you do that you have seven bank accounts? Um, I just had some from college and then some from more recent. After I got a job. So yeah. some of them I don't really even use anymore, but my name's still on them. So in your bank account, uh, uh, mostly, all right, what are the account, how many banking accounts that you use mostly? Um, I probably only use one mostly. And do you have the balance of more than $100 in your account right now? Yes. Can you please uh, specify to me the uh, balance? How much do you have? I have $176.64. Okay, what about the other account? Um, the rest of the account? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I would have to go into my account and look. So either all of the account has more than $100? Uh, yes. So can you please go ahead and check out all the bank balance on what we have the cash right now? 
the board has other options to suspend your social security number and to shut down all the banking account which is active under your name, okay? Okay, I will. So, yeah, go ahead and check out, stay on the line with me, go ahead and check all the bank balance and let me know. Um, I can't do that right now because I'm on the phone with you and my phone won't let me do that. So what is my next step? Okay, first, first of all, I want you to confirm me. Uh, if you want to go ahead and secure your information, and if you want to save the money which is in your account, you need you will need to go to your bank and cash out whatever amount is available in your bank account, all right? Okay. If your account has more than $100, you need to go to your bank and cash out the money because your account will be investigated also, you will be investigated by the U.S. Treasury. Okay. And you have to keep your money into the money safety locker so that, you, so that we can investigate it. And within 24 hours, the money will be reinvested back to your account. So do you have a locker that I could put my money in? Yes. There is a money safety lock press which is provided by the government. So you need to keep the money in your bank account. Okay, so so how do I get information about how I can get my money out and put it in this locker? You have to uh, check your bank balance, how much do you, ha you have in your account, right? Okay, so I have to take out all my money and then go put it in this locker from the National Treasurer? I'm sorry, your, your voice is in and out. So I need to go take out all my money out of the bank account? Yes. And then I need to put it in your locker? You cannot go... Yes. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm leaving right now to go to the bank to take my money out. So, where is this locker at? So which bank account has... Which bank account has most balance? It's the people's choice. Which people's choice? How much do you have? Uh, like twelve thousand dollars in there. So is the bank still open? Yes, it's still open. I'm headed there right now. I'm about three minutes from there. You need to stay on the line with me while driving to the store and make sure that you have enough battery in your phone. All right, because you have to stay on the line with me for the entire entire time. You have to go to your bank and get up the money and put the money to the money safety locker, which the government is giving a facility with an electronic card. But I will be guiding you and I will be giving you all the information for you to keep the money to the money safety locker. But when you go to your bank, you cannot disclose your information to you, uh, regarding the case file that is registered under your name. Because if they come to know that there is a case registered under your name for money laundering, they will not allow you to cash out the money. Instead, they will go ahead and freeze your account, okay? Okay. So in order I'm walking in right now. Hold on. Hold on. I'm walking in right now. Um, your account might... Have your bank might have a limit to withdraw the money in a day, right? So you go ahead, cast out whatever limit they get, and let me know once you withdraw the money. You may drive to the to your bank once you reach the parking lot, once you pull over to the parking lot of your bank, just let me know, okay? I'm walking into the bank right now. I'm sorry? I'm walking into the bank right now. Okay, so like I said, do not disclose your information not to get you into trouble. In, in case if they ask you why are you withdrawing the money, just say so you have an emergency case come out that you will need to use for, okay? Okay. Okay, give me... Whatever limit they are giving, just cash out and let me know once you have the... Okay, give me just a minute. 
All right, take your time. These people are insane. Hello, ma'am. Yes, hello? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I'm just... Are you done? I, yes, I'm in my car now. Okay, how much did you cash out? Uh, $12,327. Yes. $327? Correct. Okay. So, like I said, uh, you have to put the money into the money safety locker, which the government is provided, right? Okay, and what government facility is doing this? Oh, that your pardon? Which government, which part of the government's giving me this locker? This is by the U.S. Treasury. Okay. So, uh, do you know any Target store? Oh, yeah. I'm right next to Target. Okay, so if that is the case, can you please confirm me the zip code where you are right now? Seven, eight, four, three, three. Seven, eight, four, three, three? Yes. So go to the Target store. There, is, there will be how, how far? How long will it take to get to the Target? Uh, I should be there in about two or three minutes. All right. Go to the store. Get a Target gift card. There will be a Target Visa card, Mastercard. But not a Visa card, prepaid card, or MasterCard. It should be a Target regular gift card, okay? Okay, so just a Target gift card or a Target Visa gift card? It should be a Target gift card. Okay. It's a regular gift card. Okay. The, the, red, card, the red card with the big white all, circle? For, for all of them, for $12,227, okay? Okay, do what now? You can get for all of them, all right? There will be a, a 